Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to Dead Dreams, the spooky game where ghosts show up and make a mess in your home. Ooh, messy. Last time we started our adventure talking to a therapist, visiting our old school days, then looking at our freshly blood-soaked bathroom. Awesome! Today we find out who made that mess, maybe. Let's go! Ah, what a good nap, I feel... Slightly more willing to deal with whatever this mess is, because yeah, last time somebody apparently bloodied up my room or something. My kitchen space, messed up my phone. Did they move my shoes? Can I leave? No? Yeah. yeah and then I came in here and this? I don't want to deal with this. Who does this? Just came into my bathroom, blood all over the place. What's wrong with you people? Also, some very strange audio going on in there. I like the audio design in this. So, can I interact with these? I haven't been able to do anything with anything else yet. A slightly bloodied VR headset. <laughs> oh, threat detected. Really? What, do I have a virus or something? Oh, new messages. What? Hi, Thomas. Hello. Who's this? I have something for you. A person? In VR? What do you have for me exactly? What am I looking at? Is it a dummy? It's Audrey, connected to VR. Really? Okay. What of it? What does it all mean? You have two hours to save her. Otherwise, I'll kill her. How does he know about Audrey? Is that some kind of prank? What do you want? Money? Follow my instructions. How do I know if it's true? Call her. You know the number. Do I? Okay, fine. Tell me to call somebody. Hey! It actually has the letter with the phone now. Cool. Oh. Uh. A four digit number? Okay. Uh. 6369. Since apparently I know the number, no sense in looking around for it if I know the number. Ring, ring, dingling. Yep. No answer. That definitely tells us that that is her in the camera. Alright. Now listen. You must turn on your VR device and click on this link. How am I going to click on it if I'm in the VR device? I won't be able to see. And don't you dare mess with me. I'm watching you. Good luck. Freak. Player left. Okay. <sighs> Breathing. <laughs> Alright. Again, I like the audio design. It's a bit more detailed than the rest of the game, which is a bit funny to me, but still, I like good audio in a spook game. That's very important. Am I still dreaming? No, this is too real. I'm breathing and everything. If he's not lying, I have to do something. Breathing is only going to help so much, guy. Connect. Oh. Well, I can't go left or right. Can I go back? No, I can't. Is it snowing, or... What is this? Okay, game. <laughs> if you're gonna be a horror game, don't make me go ahead of the camera. Keep me a little bit more to the back. Or at least centered. Yeah, I don't like it when the camera can't keep up. <laughs> That's when the spooks can get you. Yeah, I'm outrunning the camera. Oh. <laughs> Sploosh. Is that somebody going into or out of the water? Yeah, I am very limited on where I can go. I have to follow this little path. Okay. Nice little bridge. The art's very simple in this, but it's got a decent design going on. Although I gotta say, I don't like being this limited. Well, at least I can move around here. I guess it just doesn't want you to wander anywhere else. There's a shadowy figure. Are you gonna come hovering over me like that shadow from before, asking who you are? Oh, hi. Who's there? Don't shoot! Who the heck are you? Thomas. My name is Thomas. Wait, Thomas D? No, Thomas J. Uh, maybe? Wait, does it matter? Will you shoot me if I'm Thomas D? If you're not gonna shoot me, I'm totally Thomas D. Do you know me? 
I do recall something, but... Could you put down the gun? Please? Sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. Spooks and all. How did you get here? I wish I knew. Can't remember anything. Look. I've got some notes in my pocket. Wait, we're in VR. Why... I I'm confused. What if he had shot me and I'm in VR? How do the rules work here? Would I have died? A. Rogers, private detective. Find Miss Rains. Does that mean anything to you? Miss Rains? Of course. This should be Audrey. Really? What is that her name? Is she also here? Supposedly, if this is all VR, I'm I'm still very confused with what all's going on. Are you really asking me that? Yeah. True, true. So we do have something in common. That's good news, I suppose. How did you get here? God, my head. Focus, man, focus! He said that if I wanted to see her alive, I must enter the game. I completely forget what voice that I gave the main character. Probably something deeper, but whatever. So you don't know who that was? He didn't say his name. Listen, if he chose you and Audrey, couldn't it be someone you know? Uh, that's impossible. I don't know anybody. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't have any enemies, nor friends. <laughs> I was right. Wait, what about those other two guys from the club? <sighs> Calm down. Maybe that's all just a big misunderstanding. Have you seen the news? About that maniac who killed a man plugged into a VR system? Oh yeah, I remember that from the uh, last time. Okay, that's a good point, but... But what? God, I wish all this was just a dream. How many people did he kill already? Five or six? And no survivors. Well, that's what happens when people are killed. Just breathe, okay? I can hear you breathing, but do it more calmly. It's very, uh... It's nerve-wracking, okay? This is already tense enough. Okay, sorry. I'm alright. Can I... Take your wallet from you? Just give me some time, okay? Sure, sure. All the time you need. So, what should we do? We should explain something, because I'm still very confused as the player. Find the exit. There it is! <laughs> it's dark. Wait, aren't you coming? Never! I'm going to shoot you now! Haha, <laughs> it was all a ruse. Sorry, I hurt my leg. What happened? No idea. Just suddenly it was hurt? I was fine when you showed up, but now it's hurt? I don't know what happened. But don't be scared. Yeah, I'm not scared. It's just... Maybe we should stay and wait for help? That's how I knew your name. What? Miss R. She was worried about you. Asked me to find your number. Really? Okay, I'm going inside. What was up with the fade to black? Very well. You know where to find me. I'm so very confused by this game. <laughs> I get the feeling maybe things are going to get spooky now, because, you know, I've got the little light around me, but... Uh, plot-wise, I don't know what's going on. Is that one of those spook shadows? I'm so very confused. Yeah, there's more of that. Pig noises. Yeah, what are those? You're gonna jump out and get me. <laughs> the one do- oh. That's creepy. We have- uh, What is this, a flesh room or something? It's all squishy. Bloody. And we got some really good audio going on for the creep factor, because it's like breathing and weird mouth noises. I hate weird mouth noises. Ah, jump. Oh, you're making me save? You okay, save? <laughs> that's... 
That's not concerning at all when the game makes you save. Hi. You Audrey? We got some very subtle, very faint spook noises. I get the feeling maybe you're not Audrey. Where am I now? Oh, hi! Not Audrey. Need the bronze key. I don't have any key. Okay. You're gonna come after me. Guess not. Can I hide? Hi. I get the feeling that not Audrey is going to come after me at some point. There's nothing to look through. Nothing to look at. Did I go through the wrong door? Oh, wait, what? Oh, that was a hallway. I thought I went through a wall or something. Okay, TV. I have no clue what is going on in this. I know spooks are probably going to happen very soon, but as it is, I... I feel completely lost right now. <laughs> lost in the plot. Lost in the game. I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff going on, but I'm... I've been confused since starting this. <laughs> Some dusty jars. Inside one of them you find... A finger! Oh. The right eye. Ew. Like, how do I know that it's a right eye? <laughs> uh... Probably shouldn't go in that door, but I probably should. Is that that, uh... Uh, you... Making all those weird noises? Okay, I've gone in a circle. Okay, we have a defined space. It is a circle of some description. Yeah, you just stay away from me. Uh, I don't need to be in a bloody room, but here we go. Oh, it's locked. Right eye? Yeah, we're gonna unlock a door with an eyeball. What is this with the curtain? That's some weird noises. Okay. What's all this then? For example, many indigenous tribes assumed that dreams are a way of meeting with their ancestors. Yeah, I've heard of that. In the Middle Ages, they were seen as the work of the devil. I've heard of that too. TV? There could be two meanings of dreams. The first is that dreams are simply expressions of some internal desires or fears, the shadows of something real. The second is the belief of the soul leaving the physical body. Okay. Oh, it's a radio. Well, now I'm just in absolute silence. And what's with the occasional ticking? Hi again. I'm just gonna leave you alone, okay? The spirits are very sensitive to radio waves. They can either provoke or calm them down. Here are a few examples. Great, we got breathing in my ear. <laughs> Did I turn off the radio and now a spook is gonna wake up? 1039? 1067? 1142? Should I... use the radio? I don't know. Oh. Wait. I turn- I'm- What? <laughs> I'm still confused. I turned the radio off again. Oh. Okay. Uh. What was it? 114.2? Eek! Is that- our old favorite vinyl record? What was that? Did I just save myself by chance? Okay. Ah, oh, man, this is weird. <laughs> was I supposed to do that at all? You found record 03. Okay. Oh, for, um, for the television that I saw before. Okay. Uh, is it here? Oh, it is! The left cell opens up. You found left eye. Oh. Uh. Okay. That's supposed to be static, I assume, for, like, a transition or something. 
Be nice if the static actually did static stuff. You are inserting the cassette. Oh wait, we're back in therapy. Okay, 26. Oh hi, we're in the clouds. Are you sure she didn't say anything to you? No. I think that's too much for the first session. Wait, we're back to this. It's okay, if you're not ready to discuss it. Okay, we're having a repeat of this scene. Thomas? Wake up. Come on, man. We're supposed to be talking here. There was an accident, and one month later, a funeral. I'm so sorry. How did you all handle that loss? Uh, there was no us. At the time, we all stopped talking. Okay, now we're getting somewhere with explanations. Why? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we were never friends to begin with. Maybe we were just connected. If we're talking about the group, maybe we were just connected because of the club. And since then, you never met back up? Nope. But would you? Nope. <laughs> would you like to meet with them? To talk to them in person? Uh, probably with Liam. Liam? Liam? I don't know. Maybe with Audrey? I don't know, she seemed kind of nice, but I guess so did he. I don't know. What is this choice? What about the third person? Thomas, why don't you answer your mother's calls? I was busy. Get off my case. You sound like my mom. She always exaggerates my problems. I just have my own stuff going on, that's all. Perhaps she's the one who needs some help. Christmas is in four days. At least you could visit her. She would be happy to see you. Hmm. Telling me what to do. You sound like my mom. I don't fit in her perfect family. So we have family issues. We have friends who weren't actually friends. I can see why he's in therapy, but... What's with all the spooks? Flip the cassette. Oh, wait. So I'm in my memories. Going over therapy? Now? Oh, my head. <laughs> it was the day of the fireworks festival in our town. While Audrey and Aaron were checking out the closest food stalls, I was joined by Liam, who was looking for a place with a good view. That's definitely a good view. Are you not going with him? I didn't want to leave you all alone. Hmm. So, how are you? Why are you asking? Get off my case, man. You're always pestering me with questions. I don't know. Just, you're acting strangely lately. No sarcastic remarks or complaints about the weather. Haha. <laughs> Did they notice that too? You won't tell me what happened? Nothing new. Just some problems with my parents. You haven't brought the signatures yet, have you? The permission slip for the winter holidays trip. Nope. Next Monday is the last day. I know. My grades in economics are below average. Father wants me to spend all the holidays studying. The guys are gonna be upset. They're probably gonna kill you. Turn it into a horror game or something. I don't know how to tell them. I'm really sorry. Knowing for how long Aaron was looking forward to it. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. at my place. Why is that? I'll help you with your grades. Since we don't have much time left, we're going to study every day. We're going to study till our eyes bleed. Thank you, but I won't be able to increase my grades just in one week. You don't have to. Do you know your father's signature? Are you serious? Think about this. We'll forge his signature and continue studying right until the holidays. After that, you'll tell him that we still have some time to sign the permission slip. But what if he finds out, or won't be satisfied with my grades anyway? I don't know. Try to convince him that this trip is a good motivation for you. Mm, you're right. I still have a chance. 
Thank you, Thomas. This is incredibly risky and dishonest, and it could get me the lashing of a lifetime. But thank you. Hmm. You can tell we're important because we stand out. <laughs> so are we going back to the spook house now? Yep. So I was in my memories within my memories or something. I'm incredibly confused. And I also don't know what to do at this point. I have two eyeballs in my head and outside of my head. And I don't really know what to do with them. I haven't come across anything. However, I think I'm going to cut it here and try to come back with that next time. Figure out where those eyes go and in the meantime, I'm going to mull this over because I am genuinely confused at what's going on right now. Overall, the game has some decent ideas going for it. I like the ambience. I like the audio going on. But story-wise, I don't know. <laughs> But anywho, this has been Dead Dreams. I hope you've enjoyed watching me be confused. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.